Hello and welcome to episode number two of this Let's Play Stone Shard here at Hannibal Show. So last episode we uh, kind of got started, learned the basics of the game, uh, read some books, fought some vampires, and uh, well here we are. Kind of got up to another level um, where we got to meet this nice little person here, uh, which is uh, Proselyte Immolated a Vampire. Uh, he is hostile. He do have some skills here. Blood Oath. On death, grants Blood Oath for 10 to all adjacent vampires. Okay, so he probably won't. Yeah, he can also... Willing Sacrifice. Activate the following effect for 10 turns. Each time the caster takes damage. Same amount is he, uh, of health is replenished to their allies. Okay, so if we see these type of vampires, we probably should get rid of them fairly quick, right? So, and remember, you are not chosen one. Many enemies are just as powerful as you are. Be careful. Don't mindlessly charge ahead. Avoid fight with multiple opponents at once. Try forcing one on one combat and use your surroundings. Okay. But since we did read a couple of uh, books, we can potentially learn some uh, of these uh, things here. For example, uh, we can... Blade Mastery um, requires one-handed sword. Sword conditions deteriorate 50% slower. If equipped sword durability is 75% or more, provides... Alright, so if we have a good condition on our sword, we will get more damage. Um... What is this? Cleaving Strike. Perform an attack which hits three adjacent tiles. It deals 21% more damage with a 35% of bleed chance. Provides 10% counter chance for four turn each enemy hit. Okay, that actually seems fairly nice. Um, basic skills? I don't think we have any more basic skills. Do we have any of this? A runic boulder? This is the Geomancer uh, skill tree. Raise a runic boulder in the tide, dealing 6 arcane damage to all adjacent enemies with a 50% chance to inflict knockback. Stone armor. Ooh. How long does it last? For 3 turns, we will get. Hmm. And it costs 30 energy, we have 130, and we restore 5, a small portion every 5 turns. Okay. I'm not quite sure, is that, but bleeding would be kind of good to get rid of, right? I'm not quite sure what we would like to do. You know what? Let's let's do uh, the, the geomancer. Yes, we would like to learn that. Maybe if we level up again, we can take the sword skills. So we'll uh, go over here, and then we'll use the ability by clicking two. All right, we got him. Let's also break some barrels. So what's behind this door? It's locked. So we're not going to get any... Oh, hello. Well, that was an easy fight. Good, good. I like easy fights now and then. And what do we have here? This is all... Let's pick this lock. Ooh, what do we have here? It's one more damage. We'll take it. Right? Yes, and we also have a scroll of identify. Gosh, we're gonna have to find some proper, proper good um, uh, weapons. Uh, there is also a door. Let's go up here and go back and see what is in this door. Yeah, it's locked. So let's pick the lock. Any scary ones here? Yes. What the heck is that? Alright, so he has some uh, vampiric blood. 
replenish 6% of max health and 12% energy. Three turns, and what is this? Blood craze, sacrifice 5% max health to activate the following effect for 10 turns. 30% damage, oh, that's gonna be hard. Let's activate the stone armor. And he fumbled, and we blocked. Oh, we're not taking a lot of damage, are we? Nope. We are bleeding. We shouldn't be bleeding. 100% bleeding resistance. Oh, he's still alive. Oh my. We are in severe pain. But we did it. What is this? Second win. And we're also in quite a amount of pain. So, should we, uh, well, we kind of don't have anything to get rid of, um, well, didn't we have, how about the garlic? What does the garlic do? It removes some intoxication. It also gives us mm, unholy resistance. Uh, let's see, what is this? Health regeneration, injury treatment. Let's see here. Uh, let's use that here. Still are in a little bit of pain. Alright, we'll just do this. Gonna be a little bit intoxicated. Um, how about regular water? Not very good. And how about you? That You're definitely gonna intoxicate us. Hmm. Alright, we'll, we'll just... Uh, Leave it as it is right now, I think. Let's go down here. Looks like there's some mischief ha that has taken part down here. Uh, what is this? Repair kit. Ooh. Let's see if we can uh, uh, repair our sword. Is there anything else here? That is um, in desperate need of repairs. No, it doesn't seem like it. Right, nothing here. And also nothing here, but there are some barrels here. Oh, and also a crate. There we go. So that was everything up here. All right, so next door. Oh, this doesn't seem nice, doesn't it? Uh, what is this? Leeches. Minus five in morale, used on selected body part. Each turn for 30 turns, we're gonna get a little bit of pain. I don't... Hmm. I also wonder, can we... Oh, we also have leveled up. I didn't notice. Okay, let's uh, get one in strength. Melee damage and one in vitality, which is health and health restoration. And then we're gonna go. Oh, can we improve this? Uh, petrification deals eight dam arcane damage to all enemies within the area of uh, effect, with fifty-one percent chance to petrify them for four to five turns. Each petrified enemy within your vision grants you. Ha! Huh. Interesting. But we were supposed to go for either staff or shield. Uh, raise shield. Um, 50. Activate. Yeah, let's go with this. Also has a passive bonus. 5% cooldown of the duration for the skill tree. Okay, so that is... Oh, it also costs energy. I didn't actually see that. Well. Let's uh, close these. And... Uh, Hello! You look super ugly. Baleful scream. All right. Ouch. Uh, let's raise our armor and raise our shield. Gosh, 
there are a lot of turns. Oh, there goes our... What is this? Confused. Nope. Alright, let's raise our shield again. That's nice. This is a tough battle. We are very low on health. But we survived. We also got an unidentified maze. And I do think we're gonna have to take... Oh, hello. You look sinister. Uh, scroll of Identify. Let's use that on the maze. Um, oh, it's because it's damaged. Well, what if we apply this to it? All right, so... Twenty-two, that gives us twenty-one. Armor penetration, armor damage, body part, daze chance. Also, uh, block chance and fumble chance are lowered. All right, let's also see how we are doing with pain and so on. Uh, right leg. Let's put some uh, ointments on it. Is it ointments? Healing cell. Yeah, some sort of ointment. Let's just use these. Gonna get our body parts. Uh, up and uh, running again. No point pun intended. There we go. Uh, let's also use some on our head. Yeah, there we go. Good. Use some proper good old fashioned bear oil. Beard oil, not bear, but beard oil. Um, here we are. Okay, good. There is nothing more here. There is a way down there. Let's go and take out our anger on the crates and the barrels, because uh, why not? Alright, nothing here, it seems like. Oh, was that a critical hit? I do believe so. Man, we didn't find anything in here? Well, that is a shame. Oh, we found a potato. This must be our lucky day. Hunger. You know what? Let's just uh, keep it around. I don't trust this. Oh, there is a rat. Easy peasy. Good. And you are, of course, locked. Let's see if we have enough lock picks to do that. Uh, we have another bow, a ye bow. 17. 22. Oh, hello. Wow. We're not good at this. All right, let's uh, switch <laughs> weapons. There we go. Well, they took a little bit more damage. We can also pick up the arrows again, which is kind of nice. Hmm. I also wonder if there is... Uh, oh, hello. Some tied gloves. Sure, sure. That is going to be... All handy and dandy, I guess. Let's uh, pick up the locks here. And what is this? A hood! Oh my. Frost resistance and stealth. And uh, another scroll of identify. And an, a levy bow. I don't think we're going to need that. Oh, hello. There was traps here. Ah. Took a little bit of damage on our leg. Let's see if we can use this. Oh gosh, to splinter that, and uh, oh, we're not bleeding, so I don't think there is any need to. There we go. We, sh we should be able to uh, to jump around now on our legs. No, because we are in pain. Oh come on! 
And did this remove pain? Yes, but this is gonna make us uh, a little bit drunk. But come on, this is uh, this is good. Oh look, even the screen is a bit blurry. Can we? Uh, Eighty-three percent. Let's try. Did we do it? No idea. No. Oh, hello. Was that the random direction they were talking about? Hi. Uh. Okay, let's uh, use our things. All right. Oh gosh, we are almost dead. We leveled up. That saved our bacon. What is this? Sacrificial blood. Uh, should we level up right away? Let's do it. Maybe that will help us a little bit. Like so. And... Let's continue with our shield. The corner shield is a passive bonus. Shield bash. Hmm. Performs a shield bash, dealing some damage. Has a 63% chance of days for three turns. If the dash doesn't, or if the bash doesn't dash the target, reduces the shield bash. All right, we'll we'll do that. All right, so uh, skill number four. Okay. Let's raise our shield and. What's going on? I absolutely have no idea, good sir. They get what they deserve. Well, we'll see about that. By the way, Fratlet, so he is dead. Good. We've also got some more unidentified uh, stuff here. Uh, we did survive. We are in severe pain. Uh, maybe it's time to get more drunk, because that is what we do around here, right? So, uh, bottoms up. And we also have um, uh, some issues with our leg. There we go. Okay, we're gonna... Hello. Yeah, he's going to <laughs> random way. Because of this, one more turn of this. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, nothing in the shelf. Oh, that was, uh... And we have an unidentified dagger. Luckily for us, we have plenty of identifying scrolls. This is only a 17 piercing damage. It does a lot, though. Drains energy. Counter chance, three percent. Huh. That actually seems like a, a, a pretty good weapon if we get our shield skills up. Let's see what's down here. Oh, do we want to? We'll try. It's locked. So let's try and pick it up. Oh, hi. There's a rat here. So, raise our armor. Uh, let's also use our bash ability. Not quite sure if it worked. And we got him. And we also got another unidentified item here. Let's see if we can sort things out a little bit. There we go. So many maces. So, let's use that on this one. 22, 5, 5, I just don't see any difference between these two. Oh, he has uh, more fumble chance. Um, and also, oh, it does poison damage. Let's um, use the other one here. A dueling flagrant. 
Uh, this seems a little bit better, although it has a little bit less damage. It's less... It's less less accurate. It has a critical chance. Uh, maybe not. I do think blue is better than green. Uh, to be perfectly honest, let's throw away the shiv. I don't think we're gonna need that. Oh, the display. Just try and keep our inventory a little bit. Oh wait, 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 wait. There was a lot more crates and stuff we could destroy in here. Uh, with absolutely nothing in it. What a shame. What a shame. Alright, so we are kind of healing up by just uh, walking around. But the thing is, if there are more monsters in here... Oh, I can't remember opening this door. Hello? Alright, let's see if there's any traps in here. Nope. Not that we can see at least. Oh, there's an apple. An apple a day! Keeps... Oh, hello! And of course, we just used all our identify scrolls on nonsense. No traps in here either. And what is this? A vivifying essence. Sanity, morale, and health. Okay. So basically a healing potion, which makes you go insane. I like it. I like it. The best kind of healing potions. Uh, oh, there is the way down. Oh, sorry. I'm staring at it the whole day. All right. The tremors are coming from upstairs. I bet everyone was taken there. I have to find my way up, whatever it takes. All right, so what is this all about? Let's go and have a look at this guy. Oh, he has a note. Let's, uh, let's read it. With this paper, we, Knu the Elder, and every denizen of Manshire pledge to pay a bounty of 700 crowns to every man. Be it a commoner, a mercenary, a noble knight who will take on the task of descending into the abbey of the Holy Revelation and cleanse it from the spirits or any other filth inhabited it and return back safe and sound with proof of their deed. We hereby sign this X, Seventh of Bloom. Okay. Uh, this is a little bit better. Uh, we're going to take that. You can keep that. Is this... Um... Hmm. Definitely have some protection. Going to lose a little bit of energy regeneration, but oh well. We also have another potion, which is unidentified. Uh, let's move that over here. Uh, we also have some arrows. Uh, so let's... Oh! Oh, I see, I see. Arrows. Arrows. They don't stack. Or maybe they stack only up to 20. That could be. But we have learned we don't use that many arrows. Let's also take a piece of bread. Bread is always nice. Uh, let's also bring a note, just for good measure. Uh, you also have a sword. Hmm. Alright, we'll throw you out. See what kind of sword this is. It's a tiny sword. Alright. We'll bring dueling flail instead. Uh, anything, uh, any traps around here? Nope. So, let's just uh, go onwards. Hi. <laughs> this is not good. Um, okay, this has a fairly nice range. This might actually be the end. Okay, let's, um, oh gosh, this was the healing one, wasn't it? So let's try and do something. Let's also raise our armor a little bit. Okay, he's gone, but he healed up this guy. Okay, so they didn't lose anything in particular. Gosh, we are in a bad state, aren't we? I also wonder, how can we get... Well, let's see here. Does that affect, like, the grey bar here? Because I think that is how much... Yes, it does. 
Good, good. So we need to have our body parts up to, to speed. Okay, we can just uh, left click and apply stuff. There we go. I think we should be fine. I think, I hope. Uh, we are a little bit hungry. Let's uh, let's eat a piece of bread. Uh, that's gonna give us a little bit of thirst. How about an apple? All right, an apple a day keeps the leeches away. All right. All right. There's about to be something here. Trap. Yeah, there is a trap. Nice. Uh, goat cheese. Oh gosh, we have actually bread and cheese. We are in heaven right now. Bread and cheese is. Uh, it's the best coin. Oh, and what is this? One crown. Is that like one coin? It is. <laughs> we officially have one coin. Absolutely magnificent. And another apple. Take that. And let's see here. There is an 85% chance to disarm it. We failed. There we go. It's disarmed. Uh, what did we pick up? I have no idea. A repair kit. Let's uh, see if we can use up this. I do think it has some sort of durability. Yeah, so uh, 100 and... Oh, there we go. Hi. You scared a bejesus out of me, didn't you? Let's uh, raise our shield first. And then we'll use number four. Hopefully it will be... ...based. Oh, is this some sort of new monster? No. We have fought these ones before. Ooh, and we leveled up. Varen level up to level 5. Well, we're just going to continue the path of uh, strength and vitality. We're going to be uh, an echelon of power. Uh, physical power. Oh, hi. Tormentor. Oh, gosh. I want to show you something to be tormented about. Oh, hi. Uh, got here a little bit closer than I would have liked. Let's try and bash you. Uh, let's uh, raise our armor. Ouch. There we go. We got him. And he also lost a, a crude falcon. Hmm. Alright, we also have another skill. Let's continue with our shield thing. Passive bonus. Perform a successful melee block. Has a 25% to use shield bash. Huh. That seems like a good idea. Confirm. So, if we block, there is a 25% chance that we will automatically use shield bash. This one here. Now, I do wonder, will that go on on a countdown if we do? Hi. How are you doing? We'll use our raised shield. Oh, ouch. Come on. Oh, what is this? Copper chain. Uh, inventory is, of course, full. Uh, let's see if there is anything we can do about that. Still haven't found any scroll of enhancement. Let's see if we can use that on uh, this one here. Okay, so now we're doing poisoning damage instead. So it basically just rerolls stats. I don't think we have any cursed items. Let's see here. Copper chain. Uh, we have something that is way better already. Alright, let's uh, move in here. Destroy some stuff. Yeah, that's, that's what you get for buying your furniture at Ikea, right? There we go. Uh, what was that? A cooked carp? Right, let's pick up this thing here. Uh, what is that? Some gloves. Uh, are they any better? Fumble chance, critical hits. I do actually think the one we have might be better. 
but I'm not quite sure. We also have carpet. Another crown. Yeah, now we have two coins. I feel like... Hmm, I kind of feel like there aren't many coins here. Oh, we also have something we can eat. Let's eat some bread. Yum. There we go. And an apple, just to... That's a tiny carp. All right, fair enough. Size doesn't matter. It's just how it fills you, right? And what is that? A horse tail. Uh, we can't use that. Should we... Um... Yeah, let's just throw away these notes. I'm not quite sure if we're going to need them. For the... any other reason than sentimental reasons. Uh, if we put... You... You... You down here... So what does this do? Horse tail. Uh, it's kind of alright. It's uh, it's a uh, it's a fixer upper, I think. Nothing in the cupboard. And ooh, ooh, what is this? This seems sinister, doesn't it? And I kind of don't want to equip it. Let's uh, throw away some of the uh, the things we're not using. Um, are we gonna be able to? make this work for us. I really do hope so. Hmm. Alright, so if we move our shield up here and you down here, then we should be able to bring this with us. Yeah, I think that is gonna fit in nicely in here. Hopefully it's cool. But yeah, I think that also is gonna be it for this episode. I really hope you like it. If you did, don't be afraid to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But most of all, don't forget to keep smiling! <laughs>